This video is going to be about the role of evolutionary theory in the study of development. Now, just like the other theories that we talked about, remember this is not just some hunch, some idea, you know, something, uh, some bit of words that were randomly thrown out. Uh, this is a true scientific theory, meaning it's backed by evidence, uh, and it does include predictions that have been supported by evidence as it comes along. Uh, once the theory was proposed, we found evidence, we made observations that were consistent with the predictions made by that theory. So what does evolutionary theory have to do with? Uh, first of all, you may, uh, be familiar with the big name associated with evolutionary theory, and that's Charles Darwin. Um, there have been people since then who have taken these ideas and expanded them. There's even a field of developmental psychology that's called evolutionary developmental psychology, or sometimes people call it evo-devo psychology. So this is not just from Darwin, but Darwin got it started. And sometimes when I ask people, so what did Darwin tell us? And sometimes they will say, oh yeah, he said survival of the fittest. He actually never used that term. Someone else um, uh, used that term. But Darwin talked about the importance of characteristics being passed on. And this could be physical characteristics or behavioral characteristics. Characteristics that increase the likelihood that you're gonna pass on your genes. This means that they help you survive. So survivability is an important component. If a characteristics help you survive, then it's likely to be passed on because you survive long enough to pass on your genes, to have offspring. And also that makes you attractive in some way uh, so that someone wants to, uh, wants to pair up with you and let you pass on your genes by having offspring. So things that have to do with your desirability and your survivability. We have a lot of characteristics that when we study development, we have a lot of characteristics that can be potentially explained by having an adaptive advantage. Uh, adaptation has to do with having characteristics that work with the environment or the context that you're developing in. Um, for example, if you, um, if you live in an environment where you need to run around a lot and you've got the right muscles for running around a lot, uh, that's good for survival in that particular environment. If you have resistance to cold and you're in a cold environment, I mean, these are just some of the examples, but we think that humans have developed certain characteristics uh, because of their adaptive advantage. You know, you ever been around a baby? I'm sure some of you have heard of babies, seen babies, maybe in person, maybe on TV or in pictures or something. Babies are cute. What's that about? Well, it's actually an advantage for babies to be cute because we want to spend time with them. We want to take care of them. That's one of these things that might make us more drawn to them. We want to help them survive. Also, babies do things like crying. When they cry, we want the crying to stop. We don't like the sound of crying. How can we make the crying stop? Well, we can pick them up and comfort them. We can keep them safe. We can feed them. Things that help with their survival. Uh, also, when we talk about motor development, you're learning about controlling your movements, we will talk about some characteristics that can be explained uh, in terms of how they helped us survive. All right, so some of our development can be explained by evolutionary theory, by there being an adaptive advantage. Um, this also includes characteristics that might be considered a negative or undesirable characteristics. Things like fear. Um, one thing about fear is it can keep you safe. Sometimes you don't get into trouble and you don't get hurt, you don't get injured, or you don't get killed because your fear kept you safe in some way. Um, think about a baby who's learning to crawl. Uh, later on, we're gonna talk about how very shortly after a lot of babies start doing that or about the same time that they start doing that, they start to develop depth perception. They can see how deep uh, something is and they can sense when there's a drop off or a danger where they might fall and get injured. They can tell when there's a situation where, oh, I might get injured. I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't crawl over the edge of the bed as one example. That fear, that's a fear that's, you know, like, hey, I shouldn't do that. That's, that's an advantage. They also develop fear of strangers around that time. That's really good too, because hey, you don't want your baby 
just your baby, your toddler, just trusting anybody that works to your advantage, that they don't wander off everywhere and they fear strangers. That helps with survival. All right. So these are just some of the ways that evolutionary theory, which we can trace back to Darwin, uh, helps us understand development.